two groups have been decided and six teams are through to the main round. The remaining two groups will be sorted today. And well, and as well as Croatia joining the six already qualified, we'll know who the other five will be who will get to battle it out for a place in the semis. Welcome to the Men's European Handball Championships from Serbia. Clayton Lucas here with you as Group D is finalised and we will know who, along with Croatia, will be joining the other six in that main round. The two games we've got coming up, Iceland versus Slovenia, Croatia versus Norway. Which of those three teams from Iceland, Slovenia and Norway will be going through? That remains to be seen. This is how the group currently looks. Croatia top, they are through. Iceland, Norway, Slovenia still battling it out. Our feature game coming up next is Slovenia versus Ireland versus uh, Iceland. And as far as uh, this match is concerned, it's quite simple. It's win or bust for Slovenia. Your officials for this one from Germany, Lars Geipel and Marcus Helbig. They're in charge and what they say goes. And this match... There's a good crowd in here at uh, Versace at the Millennium Hall for this one. Throughout the week has been very good across all the venues. It's building and building as we look forward to the main round. As the teams go in search of a place in the semis and ultimately. Ladies and gentlemen, European Championship gold national medal. Anthems. Please stand up. National we'll anthem now have the Iceland. national anthems for the two teams. We'll start with Iceland and finish with Slovenia. National Anthem of Slovenia. Iceland lineup ahead of this match. Plenty of players to choose from. They've actually brought in Oda Gretersen, left winger, so uh, eligible to play in this match. Captain Pedersen, watch out for him. No plays uh, out on the right wing. Still very influential in what happens and as far as I think are concerned in attack. The Slovenia is a very young team. And one in which, while they have a lot of speed and they play at a high pace, but have been unable to sustain that throughout the match. David Spiller, 29 years of age, one of the uh, oldest players in the team. And certainly one that they will look to in order to try and get a result. They have run the teams very close in Slovenia as we get a look at uh, Goodmunder Goodmanson and his view on this match. What will be, will be. Quite a confident note. This team will secure a result to book their place. 
Boris Denich knows his team have come close and he would desperately love for them to go through even if they win I guess in fact if they win they are through that's for sure because they'll have a better head-to-head -head over Iceland and that's what it will come down to head-to-heads and then goal difference if the whole group is level Another player to look out for, Gadget, the lefty, Dragon Gadget playing on the right wing for Slovenia. They do have a talented bunch of players. And Gadget plays his handball for Montpellier in France. Uh, Gorzad Scott, number 12, the keeper. Have a look out for him. Gustafsson will be the uh, numero uno for Iceland. And away we go. Slovenia in blue, attacking the goal to our left. And Iceland defending in red. First chance of an attack taken. And the first goal of the game goes to Slovenia, courtesy of Dragon Gadic. Starts and beaten comprehensively. And now Iceland come away and will have their opportunity to attack. Just going to have a little breather though as uh, they wait for the right players to come on and into the lineup. Robert Gunnarsson, a big pivot line player, is going to cause some trouble for Slovenia where he can. Sigurdsson in his first shot, first goal, nice offload from Gunnarsson, then Palmerson to Sigurdsson. And makes no mistake. Come to nothing, there's a chance now for Iceland on the break. Palmerson offloads. Oh, that's a great finish. Sverre Jacobson, who's normally just comes in to defend, and now he's going to have to go back and defend. He's going to be tired, isn't he? He's going to want a real breather. He's gone up and back and back and up, back and up again. Normally goes off. He won't be too uh, worried about it, he's got himself a goal. So that will keep the adrenaline going, or a bit of a slip for uh, number 13, David Spiller. Embarrassing, but I don't think there's any need to probably clear it out because he just slipped in it. Same process, wiped it up. by Svarasson. Nice bounce, oh that's very nicely done, oh denied though by Gustafsson. That looked to be a sure goal for Slovenia. And so great save from Jorgvin Gustafsson. And now it's uh, Atlasson who's got the ball. Off goes number two, Vignir Svarasson. And then comes number 18, Gunnarsson into the front line. And take up an attacking angle over on the right-hand side. Oh dear, Gunnarsson goes down under his own steam. Good save from Scott. And Gunnarsson given his best attempt, but he was already down when he took the shot. Mikulovic, 
across Silman. And that one's wrestled away, and it's uh, Iceland who have it, and they have men over here. Good save from Scott. Thorir Olofsson properly get in front of goal. Spiller denied, and there's no way through either. For Miha Zvize, against the line player, number 19 for Slovenia. Close down very well. because he had his hands up high. Good save, Staffson. Point to the seven meets line, it's going to be a penalty shot. So a foul in the act of shooting. A little bit of a push. And Slovenia punish Iceland for it. Gadic fires home. Sigurdsson gets a touch. Palmerson, that goes Atlason. And then it comes again. Pedersen, Atlason, and Palmerson. Gunnarsson. Scurrying around. Well, that's a very good shot. Great finish as well. Singleton coming in off of the left wing, round to the middle. Saw the open space, took the chance, got a reward. Very well done. He's been rattled around there like a pinball, wasn't he, between the two defenders. A couple of bumpers, but he still managed to get the shot away. Palmerson going nowhere. Gadic and Miklovic just looked down at him as if to say, yep, that's where you're going to be spending most of the night if you keep trying that. and Sigurdsson talking tactics. Right. Can't get any luckier than that, can you, to have a birthmark of your country on your head? Definitely a cool, calm customer is uh, Goodman there, Goodmanson. I don't think he has any worries at all about his team getting past Slovenia. yet. He knows that they'll be pushed. And they'll have to play a solid handball, which is why he's got the big guns out. He's not putting the bench out, not taking any chances. The other two games Slovenia played, there was only a goal or two in them. They're very close. From what we've seen so far, despite it being 3 all, Iceland look to have the better firepower, certainly stronger players, more experienced. Gunnarsson waiting for Palmerson, who was a little bit late. Good blocking from Slovenia. Sigurdsson leaves the left wing to go and put some pressure over on the right. Scoff makes a nice save. And picked off by Slovenia. A 
Milinkovic. Nice play. Sawman. And a great finish as well by Luca Svize. Hanging out on the left wing. Work. Pedersen. Palmer's Atmosen to Gunnison. Oh, he's just picked up and flung around. He's got the ball. Tries to spin free. Gabber all over him. That's a nice little pop to Gunnison. Can he get through? No, denied by Scoff. Good save from Scoff. Miklovic, bit of space. Closed down quickly. Ball lost and brought away quickly by Iceland. Sigurdsson screaming for the ball, but he doesn't need it because Sveri Jakobsen gets his second goal of the game. The line player who's been playing mostly defence, in on the fast break. Getting some extended time on court as a result of him scoring the goal. Slavison, Palmerson, and Jakobsen on the line. And along with Pedersen, Sigurdsson. It's great, isn't it? Every time, it doesn't matter what the sport is, where it's involved like that, it's straight away. I got the ball, ref, I got the ball. Yes, that's right, illegally. Zorman, oh, he's sent down, he got a little hand in the face, not spotted by the refs. And coming in off the wing, Gadgets gets the goal. Slovenia back in front. <laughs> In fact, Svarvason was spotted, but it was it like Svarvason who actually caught Zorman, but it's uh, Jakobsen who gets the suspension. Time back on the clock. Already we're nearly 10 minutes down in this first half. Time has just flown by. Slovenia with the lead. One thing Iceland mustn't do is what the Czech Republic did in their game against Macedonia. They just never really got off the ball. They kept Macedonia in it by leaving it and letting them stay level with them, keeping one goal. Nice play, Sigurdsson. Brilliant finish. Scott's not going to stop that. So Iceland back level. Czech Republic just allowed the Macedonians to keep coming at them, keep coming at them, and in the end, Macedonia overran Czech Republic and sent the Czech Republic out of the tournament. The one thing Macedonia have had on their side throughout this event is the fact that they have the travelling fans with them who've only got a short hop, as that one is dispatched brilliantly by Udos Zorman. They've turned every one of Macedonia's games into a home match and had uh, support on a par with Serbia. Something they'll look to carry forward into the main round now if they can. Nowhere at all for the winger to go. Fourier Olivsen stopped in his tracks. Good finish. Alan Palmerson with his first goal.
Slovenia giving as good as they get at the moment. This time Boric Makovsek with his first introduction coming in off the wing and getting a very good goal. And Slovenia are in front again. Better shot efficiency, that's for sure, over Iceland. Matheson, dummy, and lost it, travelling. So Slovenia now could go two in front here. That might put a little bit of pressure on Iceland. But it's still very early. Carlson getting close to Tetsu. He's not too happy as he can hands to his head. He's not sure what the referee's going to do here. How much trouble he might be in. Time. Trouble to give away the penalty. Gadic. Oh, lovely. That will really upset Gustafsson. You won't like that. Keepers don't like being lobbed from seven metres on the penalty shot. Slovenia leads 8-6. Well, that's a couple of occasions now that Iceland have brought the ball down the park and have come unstuck without even getting a shot going. And Slovenia have scored again. 9-6, dream start here. Sebastian Skube in. And he gets his first. Nowhere at all for Svavason to go, except to the bench now. He's denied by Gabba and Zvize. Gunnarsson in to resume his role. There's a pain in the backside along the line as far as Slovenia are concerned. That's his aim. It looks like Slovenia have done their homework. And that's a good finish this time. Palmerson up across the defender, finding the top corner. Acting as playmaker. Skib again. And the way through for him. Hudson and Pedersen keeping him at bay. And then it's, it's going to count. That'll do nicely. Dillonek wasn't too sure. That's three times in a row now, uh, except for Palmerson's goal, my apologies, but they are not scoring with the regularity that the head coach would like. Palmerson's last shot was in fact disallowed. Gadget. I just thought it was a nasty clash, but it was a, an attacker's foul because Sigerson deemed to have been stood still. And he's denied from Skoff. And Slovenia bringing it back down the court very quickly. Getting into positions. As we say, deciding to stay around the middle of goal on the six metre line. Golanich. Oh, he lost possession. Nikovzek's going to have to be careful. Oh, 
Seems he's checking Skubay's all right. Skubay's not happy. Well, it wasn't actually anything that Atlas had done. It was Jakobsen had just caught him, spun him round into Atlasson. That's a loss of possession. They couldn't get it out of his hand quickly enough and didn't get the bounce in time. And so Iceland come away with it. A few boos and whistles ringing out against the Iceland team from the Slovenia fans, but they'll be used to that. Chance here, well taken, Atlasson breaks through. Good three metre gap opened up for him to waltz into. Gunnarsson dragging Svize away, and Dolanic late to react. That's why he's got the shake of the head. And he's got himself a two minute suspension as well. That's what happens when you are late, coming in, trying to make up for what you're doing. You see that so often. Players giving away two minutes suspensions, caught out of position, and then trying to rectify that by making a desperate attempt to stop the player shooting. Giving away and getting themselves suspended. A little slip, Dolanic. It's quite, seems to be quite slippy out there on that centre line, but look at all the players are massed around the middle of court. A lot of sweat beads hitting the floor. With the movement of the shoes as that one goes straight in, low shot. Gustafsson probably should have done better. Skubay did very well. I like that one. Oh, it's right at Gustafsson. It seemed to spin away from him. Gustafsson wears the top he does not many of the keepers have short sleeve tops nice to go for the sweatshirts with the, the long sleeve bit of padding that gives Gustafsson the opportunity to show off his tattoos Maybe scare the opposition a little bit Pedersen, Atlasson, Palmerson oh Gunnarsson's through here Nice play, he just brushed aside the Slovenian defence. Put the ball away. I like the way Gunnarsson runs, he's a little comedic, in so much as that his legs go so fast, but he doesn't actually get that much pace. Almost cartoon-like. He seems to be disrespectful. Doesn't have the kind of big strides you'd expect from a tall player. Kovic again, just about keeps hold of it. Nikolic has to think about it, Dolanic. Oh, brilliant, what a play that was, Nikolic coming in on the Kemper. Looked like the ball was going out to the wing and he just plucked it out of the air and fired it home. Watch this again, nicely done. That was a nice inventive piece of play from Slovenia. Nearly got caught out of play. One thing Slovenia are doing is that one goes in and Iceland get themselves back to within a goal. Slovenia are going right through the squad here and they're using everybody. Everyone's getting a run out. And that's one of the ways they can keep the pace in what they're doing. There they are young players. But uh, Boris Denic is not afraid to swap things around and get everybody in. Keeps them active, keeps them moving. 
plenty of rest time between going on and off. Nice. Brilliant. And even the change of keeper doesn't help. Goodmanson trying to uh, get away from Pichelli. Lovely ball in. Just into the corner. Ten minutes left of the first half. Slovenia doing very well indeed in what is a must-win game for them. They lead by two, and they're keeping Iceland at bay. Yellow card, Shell. Bruman also in now for Slovenia, as well as Gabba on the back line. and gets things going again. Palmerson round to Atlason. Palmerson has a look. Pedersen waiting. Chance here. A bit of a gap. Goes back out again. Lose possession. And away comes Slovenia with it. Just been held up. Not taken from the right place. There's the head coach, Goodmanson. Can't quite believe what he's seeing at the moment. of the squad for Iceland play their handball in Germany in the Bundesliga. Only a couple of the lads play their uh, handball in Iceland. And we introduced Ola Gretersen as that one's fired home by Sebastian Schube. Keeps 100% record, he'll be on for his Scooby snack, will he? The other player who plays his handball in Iceland is uh, Ingimunder Ingimundsen. Haven't seen much of him so far in this match. Number five. And he plays uh, on the back line, the left back. Madison decided not to shoot. Gives it to Sigurdsson, who's denied. Oh, and again, what a save that was from Gunnarsson. But there's going to be a penalty, which is why there's a celebration by Gunnarsson as his splashes are spared. Scoff made a brilliant double save, first from Sigurdsson, well, foot, and then again from Gunnarsson. He's happy to take the penalty after missing. Receive the penalty, Sig Sigurdsson who will take it. It's nice to know Sigurdsson going at the standing leg of Scoff and just couldn't move across in time. Very close to the body. In fact, the leg moving out of the way. The ref points to the seven-metre line against Palmerson. Again, more trouble. Not seen the coach as angry as this for a while for Iceland. Palmerson gives away the penalty. So it's some work for Goodmanson to do. What he's done is pick the ball out of the net so far. Let's see if we can keep it out of the net. Well, he doesn't need to. Gadic misses the target. Grenadson shuffles into position. Sigurdsson's also there. Palmerson, Atlason, Pedersen. And over at the top right, Furrier Olofsson. It's the attacking lineup for the moment for Iceland. Grenadson. Oh, clatters. 
straight into uh, Gabba, I think it was. Indeed it was, and he gets himself the foul against Iceland. Good play by Gabba. And the Icelandic attack comes to nothing yet again. And this is where Slovenia have been really good so far in this first half. They've held their ground, they've been very disciplined. And Iceland really are having to work for everything they're getting. And they're not getting that much. Still two behind. Well, that's a mistake from Slovenia, which could be punished here. Gunnarsson's away quickly. It comes uh, Sigurdsson now, Adlerson. Palmerson. Nothing doing. And Skia yeah, Halgrimson in on his right wing. Now at the top of the picture, Pedersen. And his right arm up, pointing towards him. And now Halgrimson gets the ball. The clock stop here. Inspiration to mop down. In, he's yet to score and still yet to score taking it all in looking at it technically thinking about what might be it's not good at the moment a while to go yet, 35 minutes and 10 seconds to go to the end of this one. Gunnison tries to wriggle free. Gabba says, no, you don't. Gary also getting involved. Plenty of games knocked down, son. You're not coming in. squad is doing its job at the moment to deny the Icelandic party goers well that's nicely done Palmerson but it's not going to count time off the clock there's an injury ankle injury for Gabba a twist to a turn someone stand on him let's have a look already always a clash with him and Gunnarsson. Gunnarsson stood on it. He prowls up down that line, does uh, Wallace Denich. Slipping in there of a coach. Ref's happy. Get going again. Closing down, a chance now, it's Slovenia, but the ball doesn't come to them as they would like. So it's uh, taken again, obviously not taken from the right place. And Scott just calms things down, and we get clock stop again. It's not perspiration. Yeah, you're on telly. Slovenia with it, Jelanić receives the ball. Zorman back into the playmaking role. Jelanić out wide to the wing. Oh, that's brilliant. Wonderful goal from Mateusz Brumen. And now Slovenia lead by three. It's their biggest lead of the match so far. And the alarm bells have got to start going off here for Iceland. They can't leave this and try and claw it back in the last 10 minutes of the match. Czech Republic tried that and it cost them dear. Because as soon as the Czech Republic went chasing the game, it opened up holes that the Macedonians were able to exploit. And it's a timeout call by Iceland. Go, go, go. 
One very angry Icelandic coach. Will the timeout be the wake up call they need? Starting to move the ball around a little quicker. Atmosphere. Oh dear! Oh well, that was harsh. Really harsh. That looked a straightforward case of Pedersen. Just lost it. Well, he did. He slips. I guess he gets get the. the uh, A bit of a doubt, gets to keep the ball because he slipped. Good finish, Everson at last gets his shot away. Ball by Gunnison. Nicely back to within two. going all on his own. Shelley, John Lynch, Zimmerman, Scooby. Well, that was really well done. Great movement from John Lynch as he just shimmied left and right, back onto his right-hand side. Watch his left, right, there we go, and he sold Atlason right down the river with that play. Brilliant work from Dolanich. And Slovenia back to a three goal cushion. Chance here, Atlason. Well taken, is it? No. What's the referee doing here? Very double sec, I was wondering what's going on. Hit the post, go in. It's a penalty. Change of keepers, in comes Cross. See if he can stop the efforts of Sigurdsson. Nearly, but not quite. Dolanich. Nowhere for him to go. That's another penalty. Bending in the area as Zorman went to shoot. Dominic. We'll go against Gunnarsson. Straight under the legs of the big keeper. Dominic with his first penalty. is successful. And Slovenia back to that three goal cushion again. This is just brilliant from them.
There are plenty of permutations of what could happen if Slovenia win, the fact that they'll go through. But depending on the results of uh, how big the, the uh, win is, if there is one for Slovenia, and what happens in the other game, Iceland could go out. Last 30 seconds of the first half, which is zipped by. And one in which Slovenia really have showed that they mean business here. Once again, good defending. And the last shot of the game, is it? Yep. Skoff makes the save. He's in no rush to get rid of the ball. And that will be the end of proceedings. Five seconds down. But before that, though... Might as well use it if you've got it. And so, uh, Boris Denich calls the timeout. I'm not sure how much they'll be able to get done in five seconds after that lengthy timeout. The clock's got back down again, so they've got eight seconds now. Chance maybe for a shot for Slovenia. Oh, indeed it is. And it's Zorman who scores. And as we hit half time, Slovenia are leading by four. Zorman just drives in, up he goes. Iceland looking for the foul against them, it wasn't given. And it's a brilliant first half for Slovenia. Confirmation of the score, Iceland 13, Slovenia 17. Doesn't make good reading if you're an Iceland fan. Stats from the first half. It's Slovenia who've made all the running. I can tell you in the uh, other match happening, Spain are 15 to 11 over Russia. In that game, the game which Spain pretty much are through. Well, that's not very helpful. That pick a graphic, so best to dispense with that one. This is where the goal attempts were and uh, where the goals were scored. And the same will come up for Iceland. I'm going to take a short break. I'll leave you with highlights from the first half. And uh, also you'll get to listen to the handball anthem. And I'll be back with you for the start of the second half. Don't go away. 